My name is Angelica Jacella, and I'm a human earth angel. I have a kind message for all parents and caregivers to save the health and lives of their kind little babies, toddlers, infants, and little kids. I Angelica Jacella. Know that all the caregivers and parents have kind little earth angel babies. These are little babies born onto earth with a kind heart, a kind little soul, and have a life on this earth destined to do great things on earth as a human earth angel. They all have their virtues and their gifts. Of the spirit when in them, these gifts include kindness, compassion, to be patient with others, to attentively listen with their kind little ears, to hear what the needs of others are to help them, to understand what the needs are and what they need help with, to be educated throughout their lives, to care for their own health, and to respect and be educated about the health and well-being of others, to use this throughout their life, using their virtues of mercy, that is to have kindness and compassion on a human, to use their knowledge to prevent them from suffering, to do what they can as a human, to help them if they know they are suffering in some way, whether they are hungry or they don't have a snack, to use their kind virtues from within the kindness of their heart and soul when they can or find someone who can to help to give them food, a snack, to care, to understand that no human is to be left alone, to politely speak intelligently being educated about the human that they are talking to, a child, another toddler, a kind parent or caregiver, a pet, to care for nature, the kind little birds, the little animals, puppies, kittens, bunnies, the trees, to understand that they all have a life, the little flowers, to care, to understand and know all the information they need starting as kind little earth angel babies to use this knowledge when they grow throughout their lives to use these virtues that they have to selflessly help others
to prevent them from suffering in any way they can with this knowledge. And they took the time to educate themselves first about the needs of others, basic health of humans, of animals, of nature. To find a way to prevent it from suffering, another human, another child, an animal, a pet, a loved one, nature, to do what its kind heart and soul can do only but as a human, or find someone in that way to selflessly help them, someone else they know who has information, knowledge, and can accomplish to help prevent that other child, loved one, animal, or nature from suffering in a certain way to help them to relieve their suffering if they're already suffering in a certain way. Being left alone, someone that is not cared for, someone who needs a kind word spoken to them, a human doesn't want to be left alone, needs to be remembered by someone else. For this kind-hearted little earth angel baby, when it grows to understand throughout its life what the caregivers, the parents tell them, this information to be educated in all ways of health, basic knowledge, and physical health of their own selves and spiritually from within their kindness of their heart and soul to know what their virtues their destiny is starting as a kind earth angel baby on earth to educatedly prevent and stop the suffering suffering rather of of other young children Throughout the years, all other humans, the ones that they know, loved ones, animals, pets, nature, and all creation. Having a respect from within them to relieve their suffering by doing kind, compassionate, merciful acts. an act of mercy to relieve the suffering, to smile to someone else so they are happy, so they know they are remembered, to help donate to those who are less fortunate, food, water, when have enough financial resources throughout the years, have a job to put aside when they can, money to donate to those who are homeless, to be educated in matters, to find places and other organizations that help humans prevent them from being homeless, from being hungry, thirsty, from not having enough clothing, To act then in these ways, selflessly performing these merciful acts from the kindness and heart of its soul. To prevent and relieve the suffering of humans at every age throughout its life, children, other toddlers, loved pets, animals, caregivers, the elderly, the disabled, to this understand, to think first, rather, and understand what the other human is suffering. A human is living through something that it doesn't deserve to be suffering, being left alone without a friend. 
poor, hungry, thirsty, left in the cold, left alone, someone that is ill, needs proper medical care, advice, nutrition advice, an innocent animal to understand, need caregivers, humans to take care of them when safe to do, that these animals are have kind-hearted souls, living creatures with whose health they want to be respected and cared for as well, that can obviously heal themselves, need a kind earth angel human throughout the years starting off as a kind earth angel baby then to educate itself throughout the years about basic health matters of animals when safe to do in addition to animals and nature to take the time be patient and to understand what the animal the little pets they know of, a caregiver, what the nature, the plants, to prevent them from suffering, to avoid polluting the world, to prevent suffering of creation of animals and humans, to be educated and always to find ways first to prevent suffering then if there is already suffering going on, to do what they can is only a human, but care enough to do, educatedly, to perform a merciful act, to relieve the suffering of the, another animal, another child, an adult caregiver, an elderly person, a disabled person, a homeless person, thirsty person, hungry, a human that is sad. To understand these are suffering that humans, animals, nature are going through, that they do not deserve, that each have to be respected, have a God-given dignity, a value in their life as a living creature to and have the right to live in a safe home, sheltered from the cold or too warm temperatures, to have enough clothing, to have enough water, to have enough food to eat, nutritious food, to have access to proper medical care, proper caring medical staff, for all humans, for all animals, for all nature, all have a life to be respected and as valued. Just as they, the human starting as a kind earth angel baby, then toddler, then throughout the years educate itself about these matters, taught this way by their caregiver, their parent, teachers and elementary schools, high schools, universities with caring human earth angel instructors, teachers, professors, uh, morally right guides such as to be of religious priests, ministers, the Pope to look up to for proper guidance spiritually, how to use their virtues and the knowledge that they're good at to learn throughout their lives to help others to prevent this suffering from starting and when it's suffering already to stop their suffering, to relieve it. The kind earth angel babies already start when born, already have a kind-hearted soul. 
Their simple smile when they are born is already a kind, selfless act. They already, from the little kind-hearted soul and heart, when they smile through this kind act, transcend to the caregiver, their parent, a pet near them, any human near them, joy to their hearts and souls. They already transcended heaven and earth to them. These are kind-hearted earth angel babies. They are living beings to be respected and need to be taken care of all the time, constantly cared for by caring caregivers and parents. Even pets are there and have a kind-hearted soul. Already love this little baby. A kind-hearted earth angel pet, a little puppy, a kitten, a bunny, a bird. They already have their own life now as well. In their kind-hearted soul, use their own virtues and bring joy to the little kind-hearted baby, earth angel. The earth angel baby in itself, it brings joy as well to these kind pets, the little dog, the bunny, the little bird, the little kitten. They all transcend joy for within the kindness of heart and soul to one another. These are all earth angels in human form, in animal form. All nature, the plants, the little flowers, the trees, all are earth angels. They all transcend from within their own life existence from this, do their own kind acts of even existing, the beauty they have, bring joy to the hearts and souls of the viewers, to the kind earth angel babies, then toddlers and adults, all humans, to all living creatures, the animals. All of these care for one another. But it is the kind earth angel's baby purpose to fulfill its destiny throughout its life. By as a human throughout its life has an intellectual reasoning ability, a brain that the other living creatures that animals and nature do not have, a capability to learn, to educate themselves, how to care for the health and well-being of all other humans, nature and animals and all living creatures. And to use these virtues they have with this information together to patiently take the time, assess what these other humans, those around them, children, then adults, the animals, pets, and nature need help with. If they need help to first find a way to prevent them from suffering, if they are already suffering a certain way, to care enough for them to be informed, educated, and how to relieve their suffering. All human kid, kids, earth angel, kind-hearted babies.
already throughout their life. And then when they learn to talk and learn to walk as toddlers, they have a kind of voice from the kindness of their heart and soul. Already speaking, kind of words that already transcend, bring joy to the hearts of their caregivers, parents, and animals, pets, present, nature. They are kind little earth angel humans. It is for this reason that they have to be nurtured by and cared for by kind-hearted human earth angel parents and caregivers. Angelica Jacella, I'm mentioning this as a human earth angel that cares for all kind-hearted earth angels these babies, toddlers, children at every age. I, Jalika Jakela, am making this message to prevent other kids, babies, toddlers from suffering. Stating even that the caregivers and parents be educated enough to care, to think through if they can afford to have a child, a kid, a baby. If they know they're going to care for their own health and then they're going to be there every second to take care of an infant nine months in the womb and then after it's born for the rest of its life to help it in every way be a proper a healthy human good role model morally right patient attentive to the needs of this little infant then a toddler a child to take it to school and safe to be born into a warm safe world to assess if it's gonna have enough food and water from the parent to take care of it enough money for years It starts with the caregivers and parents to think of this, to take the time, patiently assess this. If they are not going to care entirely at all times, every second for a child to plan ahead before it's born, one is in the womb for nine months and then after it's born, and to take care of it even till adult age and after as needed, considering it could be have some disorder in the womb or born after needs to be taken care of if it is disabled or not. If a parent or caregiver is not going caregiver rather is not going to carefully think of this to care enough for a child, a baby, a kind hearted human earth angel, then they I'm out of respect of little babies, children, disabled children, telling the parents and caregivers not to have the children, not to think of even having the children, not to think of even getting pregnant. A child has a valuable life. It is a human being with a soul a dignity of God valued, needs to be constantly taken care of by a kind human parent caregiver. It has to be loved and cared for as it deserves all their life. A hundred million seconds every day 
constantly monitored, observed, cared for, especially when a child, baby, then toddler, then throat ears, and it has to learn to going to schools, finding for it to learn, to help it get its own home and own kind family, to make sure it's in a peaceful world. To keep in mind, half the world is too cold to live in, half too warm for any human. An infant obviously can't survive without a caring, a warm home. Angelica mentioning from the heart, soul too, to prevent this suffering, the health failing of little children. For all humans and parents, caregivers to keep in mind, educators in schools to remember. These are things you have to keep in mind. A little infant when it's growing needs a lot of vitamins and minerals, proper food, proper nutrients, electrolytes, proper antibodies to be made. A child needs antioxidants to prevent them from becoming ill easily by strengthening their immune system, to have enough vitamin D, then calcium binds it, magnesium, taurine. Vitamin D helps many physiological functions. It is also during COVID and very strange times that all parents Caregivers, educators, teachers, elementary, high school, universities have to take care of these kind of little earth angel humans, babies, toddlers, kids, children of all ages. They need constant monitoring. They need a good moral right example, educated humans in themselves to be educated all preventative COVID and variant strain preventative measures. Caregivers, educators, even up to university level, nurseries, preschools, principals, priests, ministers, pope, proper guidance from all religions spiritually, what to use their virtues for, to care for others, to love others, to care for themselves. In COVID times, I don't want anyone to suffer. The adults barely get through in themselves during these times. Might get a virus or a different variant strain, even if triple or vaccinated. This is something to consider for humans planning to get pregnant. Some humans have Moderna mRNA vaccines married to another human that has a different brand mRNA vaccine from Pfizer, for example. These are things to consider if they're going to have a child, how this will potentially affect their child. if it is safe to even have a child because they have mRNA vaccines injected to muscle made certain antibodies from two different companies, one parent of one, one of another. These affect the parents themselves as humans, but over the years, it is unknown exactly how this will affect an infant. The coronavirus and the variant strains do exist and there are more, more rather mutant strains, different forms of the virus that changed forms 
from the original virus and are more virulent, spread more distances and faster, especially in cold and wind, cold temperatures and when it's windy. These are things that parents and children have to cons parents and caregivers rather have to consider to care enough for the uh, the respect of a potential child to be born to this world but of re to think of a human even to get pregnant in these times that they might have a child in the womb while for nine months they could potentially get the coronavirus or a variant mutant strain of it and become ill for two long weeks and die. That is suffering respiratory, breathing problems, fevers, nausea, aches, different beyond wrong symptoms for two long weeks and die while they might have a child in the womb. They might get this virus, who knows when, Obviously, the infant is not immune in the womb from the coronavirus. It is not even born yet. The cells are still growing. It does have a life valued to be respected in the womb and after it's born. These are considerations that the parents, the mother, and the father have to make in these COVID and very strained times. If it's worth the risk of getting pregnant in these times, that a, a parent, the mother, might become ill with the virus of an infant that doesn't even have all its organs grown in womb yet, then it's not worth the risk getting pregnant. Out of respect of a little innocent life of an infant, the baby. It is a living human being, has a soul and kind heart. It doesn't deserve to be have a mother that becomes ill. Especially when it's in the womb and even after when it's born, to be born into a world with a pandemic going on. This is already in the world children suffered for over four years because not all humans cared, took the time to educate themselves and had pets, didn't keep them away from the children. The pets and animals have respiratory tracts, lungs, could get the virus, coronavirus and variant strains of it. Not all humanity, parents, caregivers, took the time, unfortunately still seen. That's why I tell everyone, close all schools, nurseries, elementary schools, high schools, universities, close entirely all religious places of worship. These are to protect all innocent children and all humanity from getting this coronavirus and their different variant mutated changed form strain of it, from suffering two horrendously long weeks, breathing, fever, fever, suffering aches, different things is a very, very long time and die. There are no cures. The vaccines that exist, if a human doesn't have certain allergies, protect from only one certain exact strain of coronavirus, but not a different changed form of it. If a human has a vaccine, mRNA vaccine, and antibodies made already against this exact one form of the coronavirus, if they catch another form of the virus in a different changed form of it, there are different delta variants, beta variants, omicron variants, sub-variants, variants. I mean, this 
is a different form from the original one. Then these humans, these are obviously not immune, especially the little children growing. Then as toddlers, adults, they are not being cared for in this world. They're not, humanity is not caring. A lot of people put a lot of effort early on, four years ago, and then being negligent and careless. The children walking to schools that are open, no masks. High school students standing outside, hundreds of them, no masks, less than a meter away, not even a foot away, talking to one another, potentially spreading the virus in different strains. Animals, humans walking with pets with no masks, less than a meter away, both could have the virus or strain and spread it. Near 100 students standing there outside of a school, even Catholic schools, holy ground. This still goes on in the world. This is in Canada, in America, all other countries. Heartless humans. And adults can't even handle a virus like this and don't want to hear about it. And definitely little babies, kind humans. Little earth angels, all humans with a valuable life and health that don't even know what a virus is. They didn't grow the cells enough, are still growing rather. They are as humans growing throughout their life, growing the new muscles, learning to walk, learning to talk, need a healthy brain. When a child, keep in mind throughout their life, needs a lot of rest because they're growing new cells new organs they're constantly growing they need nutritious food caring par parents and caregivers to think of these children to be educated up to date there's new research and has been done for years humans kind-hearted online put reduced to little posts pins pinterest real helpful nutritious facts, uh, helpful, healthy, really healthy snacks with the essential proteins, nuts, which are beneficial to brain and physical health of children, healthy snacks such as this, with enough proteins, amino acids. The amino acids are building blocks of life. They are the tiny little amino acids that are make up the proteins in the muscles, Amino acids in the whole physicality make up almost all different parts of the cells, especially and then in the brain, neurotransmitters. They send signals from the, through the brain to the physicality. All of these are basic information that the parents, caregivers need to know. To think of this when a child, before they have a child, if they know they're going to care enough to be educated, to care for their own health, then to care for a child for nine months in the womb, already being educated about nutrition in on themselves, to care for, to internalize these food items. Then there's actual research done, which certain foods even, they're all, Certain foods that even a normal human would internalize but wouldn't think of would be harmful. But there's certain, each each food item has even in the, the vegetable skin, every part of, keep in mind, every food item, vegetable, fruit, is all made of tiny little particles, different vitamins, different minerals, different fats. Some hazardous to health, some not. Some humans allergic to certain items. These are all very tiny particles, but affect a human life and health. The human itself needs to be educated. This has to be done more in the world. Angelica made this new holy mass of an informative, merciful, caring session. 
short session every Sunday, replace the old useless mass, put it online for humans to put nutrition facts, physiology basic anatomy to care for humans, to inform them so they can care for their own health and of others. And promote this information and spread it to others. Human health is most important. This is all basic human nutrition, but not a lot of humans know this. I studied over the years, elementary, high school, and university life sciences. It is not an easy study. It is a study then built on over years, and then from molecular level, the little particles, then the cellular level, what the cells are made out of, and then built on what the humans need to internalize food, what the food is broken down to. Humans internalize food. These are simple facts that need to know that can teach the children to internalize food when they do, to start with chewing in the mouth. The teeth, when chewing, break down the food into particles. Humans have to chew this. Take the time, be patient, to care for their own health, to chew it properly, to break it down into the smallest particles properly. Then the, in the saliva, they have the enzymes that break down this food further and digest it into the little vitamins and minerals. Then the human swallow digest it into the stomach and absorbed into the bloodstream and the body muscles, proteins, the little amino acids flow to the blood, to the brain, to the body, to the muscles, the calcium. Every food item, vegetable, has made, is made up of different vitamins that it has and, uh, and substances to be broken down to these vitamins, to the minerals. These are very tiny. There has been research for years. Humans found things that no human would even think of, that a certain vegetable might be harmful to someone, some are not. A lot of people don't know, but the stomach is not properly affected by tomatoes, say. Humans think, oh, they're vegetables, they're healthy, we're eating for years. There's a lot of things that, basic fruits and vegetables that, uh, that harm, but not intentionally, the stomach lining. A human stomach is a place of digestion. If it is not cared for, then a human, certain food items of caring humans, so humans I tell to look online, especially if humans, parents, caregivers, out of respect of themselves, if they're going to have a child, they know a mother and a father have to be properly, have properly cared for their own health. This takes planning ahead of time to do their own research online. It is even modern day that is accessible already. The research has been done for years, narrowed down to what humans, which foods to avoid for proper reasons and wish to internalize more or proper amounts of it. It is all readily accessible. It takes a human caring from within the kindness of their heart and soul to take the time, be patient, to educate themselves about this, the fathers as well, and the mothers. To leave out certain foods if they're not if they're going to have a baby ahead of time before they choose to get pregnant. There's certain foods that help a human to and couple to get pregnant. These are all different vitamins, minerals they need to consider to find the proper food to internalize in drinks that contain these to help them out of respect ahead of time of themselves, their own lives, dignity, and of the, the new little infant they're, they're attempting to have to have born into this world. This takes careful planning 
for years even. That's why in these days, and if it's especially it's cold and have the world to warm, and a human parent is already shivering because it's cold, they obviously have a strain on their physicality, heart, nerves. To warm temperatures, if a human is living there, they become dehydrated. If a human is not going to have a proper temperature place to home to live, for them to live first, to care for their own health, and to make sure it will be a proper home for an infant, a baby. Separately, even, parent, even pets humans have, they are living creatures. If a child is going to be born into this earth, it is the job of the mother and the father to care for their health since as best they can when their parents taught them to respect and educate themselves about their own health at the age when the children to learn this themselves throughout the years of school with proper guided teachers to the level that they can learn up to high school, university. Not all humans can make it to university. High school is not easy to learn. This has to be taught in schools starting at young ages basic human is already the research done narrowed down is even the pins easy it is even for little children to find that even for adults that didn't study this even though it's for children is not stupid but a dumbed down simple english version of basic human nutrition with the snacks or have good vitamins something helpful to their health but proper minerals, proteins help the muscles, proper sugar, glucose to fuel, to move the muscles, the heart to beat, the brain to think. Simple information like this. The adult caregivers, the father and the mother, have to focus throughout their studies years, basic information to care for their own health. Respect their own daily and health because it's gonna affect the lives of others. If they don't have proper health themselves, they obviously can't accomplish what they need in life and cannot help anyone, especially, and it's beneficial not to have even planned to get pregnant to have a baby because they don't have enough health themselves to live. And they're not going to, they don't care enough or are not educated enough to care fully for their health. Maybe because they weren't taught for years, then it's more beneficial to not get pregnant. To care for the little potential baby and not get pregnant. Not do have their sexual encounters to have a baby. To have in a womb for nine months and not consider the care for their health entirely in all ways that they could. That they are morally obligated as kind of humans to do to respect their own life health first, to care enough to have care as well, consider to care for the baby in the womb that is growing the mother nutrients she internalized, go to the womb, so the baby has enough nutrients to grow healthy new entirely cells. Proper vitamins, minerals, calcium, vitamin D, magnesium then helps absorb it, taurine. These are very tiny, but from needed from properly food digested in mouth, broken down in saliva, simple facts, then people are a lot healthier by just chewing the food properly to tiny little pieces, 
so then it's already digested in the mouth, then swallowed easily, less strain on their food pipe, esophagus going down to the stomach, then it's further digested in the stomach with the other enzymes, these are enzymes that break down further, the, into a further vitamins, minerals, proteins to amino acids, then, the, then the, and go into the intestines or they absorb into bloodstream and go where they need these vitamins to the body, to the bones, calcium. I'll make all the tiny blood cells continuously to understand old cells die, new cells grow, old cells removed from bloodstream, digest, then broken down, put out. New cells grow. Each digestive part of the digestive tract rather has a function or delicate cells. This simple fact, every human organ is made of such tiny cells that they are easily damaged. And to consider that a baby has entirely new cells growing in the womb, and even after it comes out, it needs to be cared for because it is growing entirely new first cells. It needs all the possible vitamins, minerals. These are very tiny things that make up the um, proteins break down to amino acids, these tiny building blocks of life to build all new muscle cells, brain cells, heart cells all different tiny muscles, skin cells, and the bone cells made up of each different ones are made of different vitamins, minerals, there are, such as calcium, then a vitamin D binds to it, magnesium helps absorb it, the taurine helps absorption of that, Every one little vitamin or mineral affected by another one or another particle, an amino acid, then uh, this everything has in the whole human body functions controlled by the brain, starting with that. The human brain has to be well rested. A human has to sleep approximately eight hours, being well fed with proper nutrition oriented foods, chosen carefully from the kind heart of a soul to respect its own self, the mother, the father, before getting pregnant, when the pregnant, the mother, to be educated, take the time to care. And her heart soul use these virtues to care enough to be healthy, internalize food, thinking of our own health and what these nutrients are going to be, food items rather broken down to these essential vitamins, minerals to be grown that will be passed into the uterus where the little infant is growing and needs entirely new cells. Muscles grown with vitamins, minerals, calcium, Humans, when healthy, but not too much, get vitamin D from the sun, helps their own brain, the mother. Then is passed with absorbent bloodstream, proper amounts to the infant. Calcium helps, the vitamin D rather binds the calcium, needs magnesium. From this is each separate from different food items. These all have to be considered by the mother. All mothers out of respect of a potential infant, have to study and learn basic human nutrition. To keep their health, uh, even starting off parents' caregivers, especially of a girl, starting off as children, to tell them that you care for your health, and if proper to do, you might care for and have an infant later in your life, a baby yourself. So you have to be educated in yourself to be healthy as you possibly can, be sleep well rested, care for your health as properly as you can, and to, to consider eating proper food 
and nutritious food with certain vitamins and minerals that will help you we have enough nutrients to be healthy entirely before if you choose to get pregnant and have an infant then you will already have these vitamins and minerals and then when to care enough then then when in the womb to have an infant growing new cells to give when you internalize these foods carefully chew digest the tiny cells vitamins rather minerals from proper foods, certain foods to avoid. There's actually research done to avoid certain fruits, even skin of certain fruits and vegetables is all online that our humans found that no what would help an infant be more healthier if avoided if the mother didn't eat before she got pregnant. Some especially while she's pregnant, while the infant is in the womb that all humans don't know about, but it will save that little infant from becoming ill, potentially with some disorder, to be healthy, grown, entirely new, growing, a little infant growing, starting in the womb, entirely new little muscle cells with proper vitamins, minerals to accomplish this, the amino acids, then the proteins, the bone cells, red blood cells, white blood cells to prevent infection, the heart muscle, potassium for the heart to beat, electrolytes, sodium, chloride. These are tiny little ions. The proper salts to internalize, avoid white salt, iodized salt, all humans, pink salt is healthier. Proper amounts needed for all humans. Humans have to consider their allergies. These are things that start with a human caring and thinking. Everything starts from thinking. It is for one human learning, being educated, what other humans can even learn nutrition, took the time and cared. Some even poor, but invested going learning the long years through high school, university. And they suffered learning this, but took the time best they can care for education, which is not easy to keep in mind to do. A human has to be very well rested to learn anything. And have enough nutritious food while rested in normal temperatures to learn anything. To study is very difficult for a human being at any age to learn anything that's why children when they are need to sleep all the time when needed as many hours with enough food first and growing for parents caregivers teachers priests ministers pope keep in mind put online sites you have the resource to do the simple information that i've learned but i studied but Use what another humans did learn and take the time for others that cannot learn this but need to know this information. There are humans, millions, parents, caregivers in the world that don't know this basic information. They each think, oh, I'm eating vegetables, fruits. I care for my health. I'm going to have a baby. They'll be healthy when I eat these fruits and vegetables. But that is not always the case. A lot of vegetables are acidic, and fruits especially harm the own human stomach lining. It deteriorates, has little holes grown in and be, becoming there. Rather, in, in the stomach lining and intestines are eaten away. And human gets allergic reactions because whatever certain things that they digest have to stay when they just in stomach and go through intestines but not enter the bloodstream. Pass through these holes of the damaged stomach, lining, and intestines, known as leaky gut, and a human then gets allergic reactions or inflammation. And a human, over time, the research has been done by kind-hearted humans, invested even poor time to work hard, but learned these studies and used this knowledge with the intent of helping others to inform them. They put online, cared enough for, for humans to take the time to look online, find the links, share it to others.
take a second to act. All parents, potential parents, fathers as well. Your genetic makeup and health is affected. You have to eat. All the fathers, potential fathers, have to eat proper nutritious food. Your physical health, what you eat, affects your genetic makeup down to the, the cellular level. It affects the, potent, the little infant that you're going to have. Also the mother, what she internalizes before, even for years, builds up. Human have a body does its best to when digesting food to absorb nutrients and then break down what it doesn't need and poop either out. But a lot of humans internalize even what they think are safe fruits and vegetables are potentially sprayed with something. The body does its best to, to get rid of these, but it's not always removed from digested properly from bloodstream. Human needs vitamin C, different antioxidants, AE, help to remove oxidative stresses on the physicality. These are simple information, but for human not educated in health matters, they don't understand. But when explained by someone what a time to children throughout the years to focus on health in schools, but as COVID times, all schools as I care with the intent of preventing the health failing of innocent babies, toddlers, children, preschool going to and to cold temperatures as it is, is safer for them to be homeschooled. They are, have the online resources for humans to take the time when they can stay home, mothers mainly, if have enough funding, to homeschool children in a warm, safe environment, have the world as a state it is too cold, to think of this, have to warm for the human itself, mother, to exist, is too cold, human shivering already can handle an adult being alive, and definitely an infant cannot keep its normal warm body temperature, baby or taller than and then go to elementary school dressed up in snowsuit is already strained. Burn the calories suffered that way. And by the time they get outside in the cold to go to school, this is already an infant, a, not an infant, a little child suffering. By the time they already burn the calories, sweating mostly in snowsuit, get there as to rest, get a fever, virus on the way. The common cold is a virus. The body has to raise the body temperature with calories, nutrients, glucose from food digested. Most humans are poor and the children barely afford food and nutrients. Then the, the temperature is raised in a, in a little child to fight off this virus, destroy it. And then the temperature, but it takes hours to days, a human as long as needed, and a little child that is growing that needs to rest cannot go through this. But millions of children, I'm saying this to prevent their health failing. For all humans, especially go with times it helps to close all schools, elementary schools, high schools, universities. Consider, think of this, you are morally responsible, the parents, the mother, the caregiver, the father, to think of this out of respect of another human life that you chose to have born. You, you made the decision to care for them in all ways, especially till an adult to live and can at least take care of itself. To care for your own health, to respect this child, not to put it in the cold and snow to so get a fever on the way. To a place of learning, most places I lived through from experience as child got up in mornings to cold, even in houses. Most people can't afford a big houses, even if do enough heating to have normal temperatures. Then to go to uh, to houses from their house, rather to a school, even close by an area, but that's a hundred steps for a little child on a sidewalk, potentially in snow and ice. Strain slipping harm by accident, they are growing still, could be at home sleeping. Educate at home on basic things that they need to know. Stay warm and safe while they're growing, have nutritious food given to them. 
save the car gasm and especially COVID times is all closed to prevent the spread from them suffering getting the virus, even if they're vaccinated. Might get a different strain, even if wear the mask. To care for this intent of the suffering to be prevented of children. 100 million elementary school children walk. No mask as well in the cold, breathing too cold. The parents don't keep in mind. Make sure they always have the scarves. Even with a scarf, it is so cold that an adult can't handle and keep in mind not a second. These are million seconds that a human is walking and trying to survive in the cold to get somewhere, even with a three layer snowsuit, a scarf, and still have a breathing, try the best to breathe warm air. Would they need normal temperature to function, but it's sub-zero or even normal below temperatures most of the year. Canada states almost other countries in half the world too hot. Not normal human temperatures for the body and brains of millions of little children going to elementary school, high school then, 100 million days every morning, get up, sleep when they're growing, learning. Does that strain the brain, physical health, and nervous system horrendously? Seriously, a lot. There's a lot of thoughts, needless information taught as it is, but they never, and I myself know, never used in life. To get a certain mark and curriculums need removed entirely out of respect of human child health, a life is a value life to be healthy for the kind caregivers elementary school teachers, high schools, universities, tell this to the board trustees, Catholic schools, and especially under God, religious schools are holy grounds. Close the doors till COVID is gone entirely. It's not worth endangering, and they have no right to do to open the doors of, of a Catholic school, public school, other religious schools, Jewish, Protestant, Lutheran, any religion, Buddhist, Muslim, to endanger, they have no right to open the doors during COVID and variant strain times. To have an infant to walk there in the cold might get a cold virus and or coronavirus on the way. Walk the hundred to think the steps in the cold in a snowsuit sweating by the time they leave the house temperature they sweat the snowsuit they put on is is raised the temperature keeps them warm and too hot. If the parent doesn't care enough to open the zipper to make sure they're not too hot in the snowsuit by accident, but they have to care. The, the child, usually most of them sweating by the time in their snowsuits and sweaters, three layers, and a, a scarf tight on their face before they go outside in the cold. And then, then it's so cold that they freeze. And they already what they sweat the, the, on the, the skin, even with snowsuits on the face, the, the, the sweat freezes, is cold on their skin, on the face when they're breathing, exhaling in and out of warm air. Under the scarf, the face has built up the drops of water, condensation on the face, then there are the hot temperatures of the skin, and then the, the freezes in the sub-zero temperatures on the skin is cold on the skin water with the breathing in and out, even with a scarf, then with a mask to prevent coronavirus. They're already struggling to breathe air. They walk like this, poor little children, 100 steps, each calories burning from food they're poor mostly. But not enough electrolytes, potassium, sodium, one. Not most children given a banana in the morning, milk, a little cart in milk, even for calcium, vitamin D purposes. To eat, it, have an egg, basically healthy one with not, not, not fat, like an avocado is healthy fat for the heart and brain. These few things could even is to put online, millions of people still don't do. Some humans care, made these, but it takes the other million parents. I've seen online, there's a lot of care, but no one took the time to put these simple facts to say, look, you can tell this in this social media exists million sites with million viewers, each most people have, followers, blogs, tweet and Twitter rather. The main World Health Organization, they, they, they never put this online. The Pope, I changed the Holy Mass, Angelica, for the better, to a helpful, merciful act, a place, a time, 
online for all congregations, holy masses to change immediately, get rid of the old sermons mass entirely. No more signs of the cross to save human health that they prevent a child, especially in this video. My intent is to prevent the health failing of children. When their health fails as a child, they cannot heal themselves and might be crippled, strain their heart, have a stretched cell, damage nerve, spine, making the sign of the cross, putting their hands together, never. All parents and caregivers make sure that the children never put their hands of the cross hands rather together with the palms together in a praying position, save their health and lives, never teach them to put their hands together to pray, tell them put their hands to rest on the side in front of them in a neutral human physicality position. You have to act this way because children learn from you. They learn what they see. Then at a certain age, they look up to you because you are the mother. You are the caregiver. You are their guide. You are their spiritual guide. The caring, loving mother, they look up to you. The caregiver, the father, the minister, the priest, they think they're going to they mention something kind-hearted about God or Jesus' example, Holy Mary, Holy Spirit. And they're going to they think that the little children think that they're going to, these people are there to help them. They expect this and have a right to be valued as a human, respected this by all of you to the parents, the, the fathers, the mother, the caregivers, adoptive parents, those kind humans that take care of orphans with no parents, for the, the, for the children of humans and animals. There are caregivers for animals that left without parents. They all have lights, hearts, souls too, personalities. Their health has to be cared for constantly. They cannot, while well, growing, especially little, little kid, little bunnies are growing new cells, need proper animal food with nutrients to consider from the human caregiver. When their parent is gone, the rabbit, their parent might have died. They left alone. They need someone to help give them nutritious food to help them grow as if they were caring for a little baby human. But as an animal, little baby, little bunny, till it grows even enough cells to take care of itself, then still needs constant care. A little bird, a little little puppy, the little kittens. These are infants, kind-hearted earth angel, little babies. They are growing new cells. They need vitamins and constant care from humans. 100 million seconds to stand by the side and make sure they're warm enough, normal temperatures to think of this for their physical little brains, heart, bodies to function so they're not too warm, not too cold. A human being and all animals keep in mind this thought information and share to all in the world with intent to prevent them from suffering in the first place, any ill health. As you would love to be, have know this information and use it to prevent yourself from suffering, any brain or physical health, ill health. The parents, the caregivers of the orphans, of animals, farmers, dealing with infants, the little animal infants, the humans, the little caregivers of the babies, to think yourself how you would want to be treated with proper health and to take this information, care for your own health, and then think of the baby. That cannot think of this, doesn't know this yet, but right to be respected and to have normal temperatures to function. Keep in mind that a baby is growing, needs normal humans function at a certain temperature. If the temperature drops even one degree below this or goes too high, the human brain and physical health is suffering. Humans are made to function an exact proper physical temperature of the brain and physicality, including babies. That's why the parents, caregivers, the mother, the father, especially when a mother has the child in the womb, 
has to think of caring for her own body to be warm in overall temperatures, not to shivering in the cold to stay warm. Because when she shivers, it's, already, it's a response of a human that is already suffering something that is too cold in the body, shivering to save itself, to warm itself enough so it doesn't, the body temperature doesn't drop too low. This strains the human nervous system, physical heart, the health, the veins, arteries, and a human has to then rest, recover. A human has to take care of their own health if they're going to think of even having a little baby. A human baby to take care of an animal baby. Separately, to think of this information that every human health, physical health, in the brain has to function at a proper temperature. If it drops one degree too low, the little chemicals, the every is a very tiny, but it all builds up the cells, the blood cells, red blood cells are made up of tiny little particles smaller than those. Everything will not function properly, even if the temperature in a human brain drops one degree too low. A human drops the temperature in their body, where the bones are, the skin, the blood vessels in the veins, the arteries. The human temperature is dropped too low. Even one degree will not function properly. All hundred different million cells each have their own purpose are not functioning right because it's too cold, even one degree too low. If it goes too high one degree, the body severely suffers. Each different vein, artery, the cells in them, is all not functioning properly. The heart is strained. The, each heart itself is not, a, is not made of rubber. Nothing is, no human veins, arteries. These are tiny cells near another cell built up to one purple or veins then there's the little cells flowing in the blood the little blood cells made up of the tiny other little cells people eat ingested proper vitamins minerals continuously have to eat these through life to make healthy of these cells the brain controls all of this hundred million processes of a brain controlling in a human in the mother in the father in the baby from the mother and then transfer the nutrients to the womb for the infant to grow. These new cells for the animals as well, caregivers to keep these are thoughts, education, words you have to listen to from the heart and soul of a human earth angel, that information you need to know, that you already have to know to think of when you take care of other animals that they have and how they function, especially those that deal with animals, veterinarians, Humans that have pets already out of time have to please educate yourselves too. That your own health you have to take care of. Then you have to consider your own health. If it's warm enough, safe for you to live. Then if it's safe enough for an animal for you to take care of and that might have an infant. You have to take care of not only yourself health and them. You have to be well rested. If you're not going to be, please don't get an animal. Please don't have a pet. Is out of respect of a human life, yours. You're morally responsible for the life and well-being. If you get a pet, an animal, and if they have an infant, you have to take care of it every second of your own health and them. To be educated in every possible up-to-date research done. So there's no reason why humans have a say to, to say that they didn't know about anything. They have to be morally under God. They are judged too, and but it's almost not informed. But it, this is beyond. This is humans know this already. Rather, to become a caregiver, to have an infant, to become pregnant, to have an infant baby in the womb, then to have it after as a toddler and throughout life. All humans know ahead of time to morally do right to plan ahead if they can have a child to be healthy, care for their own health and spiritually to guide them and have proper basic necessities provided. Saves up couples do ahead of time work for years. 
but to care for their own health. If they work too hard, they strain their health. They obviously cannot have a child because their physical health is already harmed. Not intentionally, but the, then how they, they cannot have a child, the mother, the work, and then it's not that a human physicality doesn't miraculously heal itself. Error. These things need planning and carefully said throughout the years. It is unfortunate how people work throughout years as it is and saved up so that the, the, the years worked hard and unfortunately cold time and new industries came about, construction made new homes for humans, more heating than olden days. But a lot of humans still are poor because of unfortunately had governing bodies not doing what they're smartly under God obligated to provide proper shelter, funding for heating, for basic necessities, for a human normal temperature, human to function as they rightly deserve, to be respected as they would want to be, to have enough nutritious food, water, proper health care, for humans, animals, pets, for all proper COVID preventive measures, free masks. They are not doing this in Pope, in Canada state is true. In half the world, when it's too cold there for human to survive. Humans walk out already have frostbite. How they can have a child born into this world, they cannot. Would love to do and have normal temperatures to live. Humans that worked over the years and are still working, but are not enough money for even proper jobs. This is not a safe, caring world that all humans but are living and right to be respected by all, but are is not happening. So out of respect of children potentially being born into this world, especially COVID times, it is something to think twice about, to think things through rather, for a potential parent child of a child, a mother, a father of a potential caregiver who is gonna think of having a a pet, if their, their animals there are breeding uh, some deal with these and farmers to have an animal to have another little infant to care for their parents, assess them if they can even maybe blood test if safe to do when to see if these animals are genetically compatible, if they have any health concern that should have prevent them if they're going to have a potentially have an, a little baby born with a certain genetic disorder because of it or a health concern and they're not healthy enough to keep those two animals away, parents, so they don't have the baby, infant, animal. It is a human life. The baby is a life, needs to be have healthy parents genetically, compatible, humans as well, to consider this. There's the human genetics. Some humans can get married to another um, um, father, to a mother, and they, they're both genetic makeups. The way that they're made is safe then to have a child if they choose to get pregnant. Parents need to consider this ahead of time. Some are genetically not compatible. So they obviously know that they have to be assessed, consider these things, go to a doctor. This is the research been done for years. There's information online. All humans know this. But other humans that know this, please like this video information. Book could be more people stating this simple each information online for years than the parents would know about it. Some people not educated, but they love to have a child and care. And do better they can to care, but they're not educated that know about to think about genetic concerns that they, if they have one or the other father doesn't, then they, some of them might have a, a baby with a genetic disorder, even in the womb. Humans don't know about this. They are not informed. Our doctors have a say too, but humans feel of choice and obviously have to do their part. They are a study for years in nurses of humans of all kinds of in medical profession. They're morally obligated to go under God to do what they learn in their job description to do. 
And I'm telling everyone and who I want to have these gynecologists is mostly care because they deal with potential family members, this little children, other specialists. But they're not also doing, they have a part to put online these days resources, put what they learn, take the time I'm saying, educate people is put online at one site and million people will if it is really serious in matter and would love to know put act now tell them to share to million people they have most um, well-known doctors that care have already million viewers or followers youtube or subscribers on twitter their own sites the million people learn from that everyone loves to know basic nutrition, a way to prevent them from any ill health. No one wants ill health. As I stated, ill health of a human brain is damaged or physical health is long lasting for life. Human might not be able to work, not have children. If a couple is worth informing, taking what the time they learned to listen to an earth angel, be one yourself, to put online a site, any helpful short even video you think of one sentence, that you learn something or throughout life, that you study that other people poor but need this information to learn, to kindly put online, say if on, on a site there, or make one accessible or put a higher level, other humans that have lots of followers, doctors, inform them about this so they can put it on their site. I'm sure would love to do. They have the million followers tune in all the time, save their health and lives by simple nutrition facts that humans put into their daily lives, parents, especially of children, fathers, mothers, potential parents, caregivers, orphaned caregivers of human babies, adults, toddlers. Humans care for nature. This nature affects the, 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 the nutrients in the soil. Fertilizers help the plants grow. The vitamins, minerals needed to the vegetables that actually grow what humans need to eat, certain ones. The skin that they have, have they're made up of different vitamins, minerals, amino acids, all different substances, the tiny microscopic level, but all of these are to need. And farmers know, conservationists know. In the world need more funding people care that learn these studied for years did the research to actually take that information put it online speak a simple value all you have to do is you learn something to care put online and put a title speak it in video and tell everyone to share to all to save their health this is true that is any human is so happy full of joy that they cared for someone to they already have an allergy or something they didn't know that they could stop eating something, even a simple fact, and they wouldn't be ill from an allergy to chew food more so they wouldn't strain their, their soft food pipe from swallowing too much food. Humans don't know this. Some don't know. And more people inform others what they learned. Even study like myself, work long factory hour just to learn life sciences, high school throughout the cold. That's why I use this knowledge to help someone. That's what it, the purpose is, to learn. If you learn something, then the, the, to use this knowledge to help someone who can't learn it. Prevent them from suffering. All humans should know this, be born at a certain age to add no idea how the basic vitamins, minerals, what foods proper to eat, this knowledge, but or not. They learn over time. It's not easy to learn for most people. People study business, but not good at life sciences, basic human nutrition, health, what the muscles are for, what the veins, heart. It's all easily damaged cells. They're so tiny. If it's damaged, the damage for life can be healed. As everyone knows, no one wants surgery to have an open wound. The humans still research to find every way to care for humans and tell this by word of mouth that all the humans obligated because they affect their own life affects another especially parents of children to be informed educated in their own health if you're not then don't have a child obviously don't adopt a dog or pet if you can't take care of yourself as a parent or caregiver going to be a potential one 
then obviously you can't take care of a little baby. You cannot, under God, have a baby. You cannot adopt a pet. They are, they are lives and require constant care, a caregiver that loves them and values them as a life to be respected by a human being that cares to take care of them all the years necessary till even adult age and as needed after. If they are disabled, to consider this needs constant care and more financial resources that a parent has to have to take care of a disabled child, an animal, longer if they can't work in the beginning and don't have money and might consider that a child might be disabled so don't have the child then don't have the baby don't have the pet Excuse me. All humans are morally obligated to care. All children have the right to be respected as living beings. It is of all, all humans to respect themselves and their own health, to learn this up-to-date nutrition, to keep up-to-date, to share this information with all humans so that all humanity knows this to put more education in the school system these days online. Resources when all schools have to be closed, elementary, high school, universities, monasteries, any place of education, public place, doors closed out of respect of innocent human children. They're the ones who are gonna live in the world and the right to be healthy when they are growing New cells, even when walking, need nutritious food, enough to rest, safe, warm place, so they don't have to, is it temperature is too cold, one degree below. They need a sweater to keep them warm, or blankets, so they don't have to shiver. Strain the nervous system hard to warm the temperature. Their body temperatures, as stated, has to be proper temperature, 36.6 degrees, healthy, all the time. Parents and fathers, mothers have to take care of the children when they go to school, walk them, if they hand them to someone, a priest, a priest uh, might be a religious individual needed, another parent, a caregiver, then that they're they have to think things through about the teacher, if this is gonna be a good teacher for their children online these days when it's to prevent the spread of coronavirus and variant strains. The high school teachers, elementary school teachers, nurseries, preschools, caregivers, volunteers, that you're going to hand your children to care for them for a certain amount of time, hours to learn. If they're caring enough, if they're not going to respect the children's health, to monitor, to keep, even if there's one children away, to tell them to stay away, two meters away with a mask on. If they're not going to do, you cannot endanger your life to put your child in a school like that, with a teacher like that. The, the teacher already under God is morally doing wrong, not in their job description to do and can't make their paycheck, needs to be fired and hire a proper teacher. These humans are no untrained to study, to care and respect the health dignity of a little child. They know they're the role models to teach the best what they can of that subject, 
to care for their health, their well-being, and prevented measures to enforce properly, educate the child, and monitor that, that their the child is putting a mask on properly, staying two meters away from another child as needed, hand sanitized properly, to close the schools entirely. No children are allowed, even with a mask on, keep in mind information that they still breathe air, and if they get a virus or another child or animal with a respiratory tract, a pet is beside them and have breathing the, the virus on the side, escaping from the sides of the mask on the side of the mouth, spread to another child, inhale it, the animal, pet, bunny, dog will suffer tweaks and die, respiratory breathing problems. This is not a second, it is, keep in mind, two weeks. Breathing pro not properly, sweating high temperatures, fevers, aches, nausea. You might feel like they're going to throw up. This is a health suffering internally for two weeks and then die. A little baby or a toddler going to elementary school is not worth the risk to the parents and adults at a respect of the little kid the child to walk in snow so cold on the way and get a, a normal common cold, which is a virus and a fever needed, then fight off med if the fever is too high, might get already brain damage because of it and physical health for life. They cannot heal. Be crippled, disabled for life, a learning the brain disability. The brain itself has to function in warm and normal temperatures. If the body is too cold, affects circulation to the brain. It is too cold, a human cannot function. Frostbite, damage nerves, veins, restricted blood flow to the rest of the body. Humans suffer. Body parts don't want to hear about, but to consider if a human gets frostbite outside in the cold. Damaged cells, you may need surgery, remove those damaged cells, cannot be healed. No human wants to live through this. But millions of children do. Parents, caregivers, and telling out of respect of the children and yourselves, you are morally obligated, under God, religious or not, to plan ahead, care for your health since babies, informed by your parents, caregivers, kind hearted souls, love to inform and educate about human nutrition. So educate your children if you have one in proper, safe, warm places to live, as they are to be respected as you want to be, proper, normal, warm temperatures to live, blankets of proper materials that don't break down, that well, they will inhale and become ill, will stay in the body, these particles, and, 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 and irritate the stomach, other organs. Humans will become the babies and a little taller, ill, our soul, unfortunately, keep in line. mind. I've seen dollar stores, different ones, different names. Not exactly dollar store, but I don't want to say the different names. They're online selling millions to infants these blankets that break down particles that a human adult doesn't want on their skin. That irritate the skin itself, but if inhaled by the baby, will cause severe damage into going to the, the belly or the lungs, and they will have it irritating them. They cannot remove this, are suffering internally bodily harmed. There's not a second at last. These humans have done injuries for life, don't deserve to be disrespected this way, a little baby. The toddlers, they live million seconds alive, growing. They have kind hearts of them all. And the little pets have a soul alive. Food items need to be given to them, nutritious ones, with vitamins, parents that know even what this means. This is simple knowledge that everyone can learn. Even down down to a basic level, so the nutrients, something good for them, body to learn that they need, so the body is healthy. Vitamins, minerals, humans have to take the time and learn the definition, and because their body is, uses these all the time. Humans are morally obligated to learn this and explain it to learn teach to their children over years. Then they teach it to other humans. That's what the school are for. 
care for physical well-being of children, elementary schools, high schools, universities. You may choose to go to college, then certain specialties in life sciences, health, physiology, anatomy, basic human nutrition, that such as I learn what a human is deficient when they don't have enough of a certain vitamin, what symptoms they have, what they are ill with. If a human has too much of a certain vitamin, what they are ill with, what are the symptoms. These are what million people, certain, and doctors then built and used this knowledge and took the next step to study medicine, psychiatrists specializing, on, specializing in mental health of different, of all ages, of humans, of genetic different races, from humans and then animals, of different species of animals. The research has a lot been done over years. Humans, even poor like myself, paid, walked in cold, but needed to have a job so they, to make more money and cared enough, learn life sciences. Walked in the cold, that's why I say they learned, but uh, to survive, but uh, is it the parents to consider to having a child to live in the cold and then suffering to learn this, walking to school, getting a virus, and then might not might get a job or not might become ill disabled for life if it's worth having a child born into this earth especially during covid times to wait hopefully if humans do their part to prevent the spread of costs get vaccinated properly then this virus will stop spreading mutating and will be gone from the world. Properly sanitized surfaces, more research need done on this, humans that care, world leaders can easily fund this, humans would love to do research, hire those people, educated ones, hire those medically negligent, lazy ones. You already save a life, or one every second counts in a hundred million people lives affected. All parents to think of this, file complaints, act, tell the president, the other governing bodies below them, they have contact information, companies, care for your children, people walk in stores, buy a blanket or see it's not good enough for a baby, obviously they don't want to even handle it, is it a, a hazard to a baby's health, the socks, materials made out of our, our garbage, they irritate the skin of an adult. The polyester, some different forms of polyester, something that even an adult wouldn't put on the skin will have an allergic reaction or irritate the skin that it's damaged right after. These are still being sold everywhere in the world. And then people leave, but they react against it. But they could say, and please act, take a time, be kind. Take a second, contact, even let in the store know why you're selling it, take it off the floor. Don't sell this blanket. A child gonna have an allergic reaction. Is new cells growing? It does not already have a strong immune system. A little baby gonna have a blanket on its skin and turn red for an hour when wearing it. Is not worth a human to even put on to it to sell in a store. I don't know why they sell it there anyway. But if humans don't complain, like many people, or oh, they don't like it and leave and don't do anything about it. Then humans are poor to know and buy a blanket and then have irritated skin of infant. A lot of people not educated about this. What it have to be, but are not. Have to care, obviously. If a baby cannot, doesn't, you don't want, your skin turns red with a blanket scratching, basically irritating your skin. Then you can't give it to a baby. But some people are stupid or poor and have to do what only they can to buy what they can. But this is unfortunate, like... If humans have to act, be the human angel, take a second. Most people have the iPhones anyway. Is online internet, is all the whole world. There's a, those cell phones with the internet access. Click on the, the complaint department of this store. Put in more people complain, they have to act right away. The all humans that employ the companies that make it have all complaint departments. In the store itself, as I said, that food items not good for children, 
selling masks, clothes, class ones for children clearly don't protect against the virus. Millions still Walmart, Amazon. Like, I don't understand, rather. But humans, if they file complaints, they're not acting. Then the children, the poor, some people must not inform still. Unfortunately, I don't know why not. This had to be done for four years. A lot of people did the part online, then became lazy. The retailers still selling the cloth, designer masks. Million people bought are still ill. The fake ones, blue and white. Protect from, maybe not protect, but prevent dust from spreading, but not a virus. People still get these and children buying them, but are not protected by wearing them, breathing, walking to school, but are not protected from the virus in any way, from spreading to them, from pets, animals, people careless walking there with the, to consider all parents caregivers for Anna, for all children, out of respect for them. If your child suffers on the earth and you're the caregiver knowing and you didn't do and you knew all ways to prevent your child, a baby, a toddler from suffering ill health but from potentially getting the cold virus, the virus, coronavirus, going to school on the coldest days, you didn't keep them there from being ill. A human no child and is growing needs to, to get a fever when they get a needed when they get a cold to fight it off. But no one no child wants, you know you could prevent this. If you don't, you're living you're morally responsible for wronging a child's life. These are sins. Every human caregiver, keep in mind, and parent are obligated to care, take care of their infant, do everything in their ability to care, love for this child life, especially till adult age, they can really take care of itself, to provide proper shelter, warm temperatures for normal for it to function, safe home, enough nutritious food to be educated, up to date as easily these days found online, Nutrient different screening, genetic testing before they're born to see if it's safe to have a child, to make sure to be educated if you're a diabetic, if it's safe to have a child, you don't want a child to be born with a certain disorder. You're morally responsible as parents, the mother, and not only the mother, the father. Have to be educated, more information, basic, put online, simple videos about genetics of couples planning to become pregnant. These researchers done this, but they work in hospitals, could easily put this information in one simple video, please do. A lot of 100 million parents will view this, and you will save potentially 100 million children from being born with genetic disorders. It is worth it. What you learned, and as you know, what you intend to learn is to help human health, to prevent it from suffering any human in all ways you can as a medical doctor, psychiatrist, gynecologist, all different specialists study the four years, register nurses, practical nurses to care for humans, their health, assess it properly, find ways to prevent their health from failing with your knowledge that you learned. So please take the time and make your own little videos. Even one sentence of a something you thought of will help 100 million people online and they won't suffer that way all their life, won't be disabled, won't be born babies with a brain damage and then when born can walk crippled for life, million seconds crippled, a little baby will be safe. It takes those humans to act, all humans to act what they even suffer in life and have really seen others suffering, what react against, to slow down, think, take the time, write that down, what they've seen, put online. They most already, as I stated, the caregivers, parents have the iPhones. If you see a product is not good in the store, complaint department right there, keep pushing the issue, tell them to get rid of it off the floor, don't sell it no more. You will save the health and lives of maybe millions of babies from inhaling something and have a, a breathing problem for life, a damaged heart, and to inhale some kind of chemical that makes them ill potentially for life. 
you don't want to inhale any particles. When you are a baby, you want it to be taken care of with a soft blanket, proper materials, proper toys. There's millions of toys and blankets sold, not proper to any even adult to handle in their hand. Definitely not safe for any baby. Not even for a second, a toddler, clothing, not proper, a human can't even handle, but sold. No one filing complaints. Could even who the, the managers work there in the office, each store. It is a job of the, of the parents' caregivers and to have respect of other children, of other caregivers. To call, take the few steps, walk to this cashier. They will call a manager. Tell them this is, they know the managers under God know that they have to sell safe products for humans to care. If they don't, they cannot sell these. If they don't, tell them you have to take it off the floor. It is hazardous to a baby's health. You don't want to be harmed. You don't want your baby to be harmed with a blanket, a, a not properly made baby bottle, uh, materials of clothing that irritate the skin, cause potentially allergic reactions, breathing problems when inhaled chemicals, toys that smell by the products. They're made out of chemicals that are not proper to children. Some keep in mind a lot of people have to care for others. These days have allergies, allergic reactions to added scents, to products. These are still added to chain to little babies. Babies to keep in mind all adults, parents, caregivers, medical professional sites put these online. Simple information, even one sentence videos for to scented products for infants baby wipes i'm an adult i have a baby wipe to use even to wipe the scent stays is chemicals every scent has chemicals in it stays on the skin absorbed and the body is doing best it can to get rid of it but it stays there harming the health flows into the bloodstream and human becomes ill these are put on as baby wipes on baby skin the infants are being harmed. They have they're already they don't have enough new cells when they're growing. They don't have the enough they're when they're till a, a certain even adult age or enough as a child grown to the normal levels to their immune system to fight off any foreign substance such as smells like perfumes with scented scented items. All the baby wipes, even unscented most of them have some disgusting chemical smell added to it that doesn't have to be there. And even as an adult, I can't even handle as an adult, well-fed, rested, and it stays on the skin and harms. For a human, to, is more important, adults, parents, keep in mind, you have to act, be the human earth angel caring, the human angel myself telling you. If it smells pretty, doesn't mean it's helping the baby. Doesn't help you. If you can't handle the smell, obviously the little baby's suffering more. It doesn't have its whole immune system strengthened more by eating heavy vitamins till it grows of a certain adult even age. And even then an adult yourself, healthy, well-rested, cannot internalize, handle the smell, which goes into your bloodstream in the, the physicality. The body does best to fight it off a foreign substance. It doesn't like break it down. But but uh, you, it's to be avoided in the first place to care for your own health. Respect the health and the dignity of another human life, the baby. The toddlers walking around. They wiped on the bottom, on the hands with the baby wipe. Then they smell, they think it's pretty, a pretty smell, but it's it's harming them. It stays there. The baby smelling this is is not is is harming their health. Just because it smells pretty doesn't mean it's proper. It's good. This is very harmful to human health. Then babies get allergies. Humans develop different reactions on skin. The blood becomes ill. They're poisoned. They're essentially poisoned. Babies, toddlers, animals can handle this other humans
And this is simple information that needs to be and had to be for a hundred years told. Some people pass on by what they learn to one human, but this online, there's hundred million people that I've seen everywhere. The retail being, retailers being negligent. They are morally responsible under God. They don't get away with to make a faulty product not proper to human health. Then those boards are the people, the managers, the hire these managers, the, the creators of these items that are selling these, promoting these, advertising companies, or all the causing bodily harm to a human. They're poisoning, creating a poisonous substance with chemicals, scents, smells that harm the bloodstream of an infant, a baby. This and uh, not proper material clothing, 100 million still stole and sold, and these are major retailers. Humans walk and leave their busy lives, but they don't want their children, they leave it there, they don't buy, but they could file a complaint. Please take time, even tell them they would get it off the floor. Things would be done, then the people would have, have fired those people. These are, they know not to, they are employed, employed and asked questions every job, religious or not. Managers, priests, ministers, caregivers, teachers, all are asked employers, are you going to do your job and your job description trained? You're going to deal with humans. Are you going to care? Are you going to hire proper staff that care to promote proper products for human health? Are you going to care? If you're not, I cannot hire you. Applies to the Pope, religious leaders, prime minister, president. Elementary school teachers, high schools, universities, doctors, that employers of doctors, psychiatrists, nurses, those governing boards, the boards above them, the colleges, all of them are asked these questions because they affect another human they're going to employ or deal with, people under them, patients, parishioners, they're going to affect respect of human dignity and health. If they are, they can make the job. To do their job and make the paycheck. If not, they cannot be hired. These are questions all employers ask in every job, religious or not, because they affect other humans. But are millions of people illegally still employed? Those are making million dollars, 100 million people suffering, and it takes humans, be earth angels, use your gifts, and to act and file complaints a million times as needed. Poor the issue. These People, and then some act the most kind would hear, oh, I have to take this off floor, but tell them why you put it in the first place. Take it down. Get rid of the blanket. These humans making million dollars. The baby's suffering, but they don't think about it, but they're morally responsible. Tell them there's a baby suffering because of you. You could have not sold this blanket. You're more responsible for selling proper products in the store. If they don't sell proper products, tell them. Then they'll take it down. Babies will not suffer. 100 million. These are main retailers. There's 100 million types of dollar store. Each one sell the same product in every store, in every city, in country, in Canada states alone. Millions of babies arms were suffering hands, irritated lungs. They cannot heal themselves. They don't deserve to be disrespected this way. The millions of dollars those people made have criminal charges for selling illegal, faulty products harmful to babies. The president, prime ministers could look into this. So it takes humans to act. This is intent of this video, the purpose to respect of little children, babies, animals, little baby animals, pets. These are human living beings need to be cared for by the adults. If the adults don't care enough for their own health, can handle a product to make sure don't give it to the baby. If you're not going to care for a baby, don't have a baby. Respect the baby, don't have it. Respect, don't have a pet. When you don't care for yourself enough, then you obviously don't gonna care for a little infant. They require love and care and respect. They are living human with a valuable life, a living creature and nature as well. Little flowers have a life to be respected and grass and trees. Needlessly polluting the environment, traveling in cold to public place of worship, I got rid of as a human, effective already. 
I report a video in world, humans have to view this act now. No more traveling, and especially COVID times, to public places of worship. This has been harming humans for million years in cold temperatures, needlessly polluting the environment, humans getting ill, cancer, pollution from pollution from car exhaust fumes, CO2 poisoning, 100 million suffered children, infant dogs, animals, bunnies, birds, is even toxic over uh, high levels beyond nature can handle. And this is to go to a worship day when it's not a worship day, it's a play, day of rest of God, who actually worked all week, created universe and rested. Saturday, Sundays, and children walked, were taken there, so I'm telling all children, Caregivers, parents, mothers, fathers, keep your children home safe where it's warm. They're growing. Provide a nutrition, nutritious, caring environment, compassionate, caring for a life. Care for it every second. Don't go to any place of worship during COVID times. They are technically closed. Avoid them at all costs. Holy grounds are not too warm, too cold when they get there anyways. And they have nothing there to in these old these these masses or harm the human health tell your children and yourself and all humanity never make the sign of the cross harms your brain physical health and nervous system stretches the palms never put your hands tell your children never put your palm of your hands together in a praying position save their health and lives if they harm their health and not have enough stretch cells on the palms to do accomplish this as children till even adult age, especially if they harm their health a million times as I did but didn't know about it, wasn't informed as 100 million people weren't. Over the years, God and Jesus, Holy Spirit, keep in mind, don't expect anyone to put their hands together to pray. They expect humans to care for their own health. Their physicality belongs to God. Every cell loved into existence and to be respected human dignity as they deserve a valued human. A life to be respected by others, the parents, caregivers, to teach the children properly and themselves to be informed first. Never put your hands together to pray. Even to put the hands and the fingertips if needed, but never close the palms. Keep your hands separately. On the on, on a neutral position on the side on your legs and rest, align with the shoulders and praying that way in a short prayer in the soul, mentioning some kind to God or Jesus or pray for someone, teach children that. Tell them never to pray the rosary, never hold in their hands. Don't even buy a holy rosary. This is God's spoken words to save the health and lives of 100 million people. Praying a rosary, don't pray it. Mentioning our Father, Hail Mary, useless wordings that are not used, but mentioned useless over and over again. Strains the human heart, especially children, for 100 million years, including myself. I'm a devout Catholic, but I learned it has never accomplished anything. It's more easy and more beneficial to pray shortly in the soul. Record anywhere in the world, doesn't have to be in a church holy ground, in any of those little rooms in Catholic schools, elementary schools, universities, monasteries, convents, anywhere in the world. All have to be closed, monasteries, convents, place public, St. Peter's Square, all parents, caregivers, keep your children away, all public areas, all public dining areas, save their health, prevent them from getting coronavirus and variant strains and animals, pets you have, and yourself. Respect their health and life. They have to still live. They don't want a virus. They don't know what it is. They don't have the even health and immune systems grown to adult age enough to fight off anything, definitely not a virus. They are still growing enough to, they're growing to grow new cells to exist while they're existing on Earth. Normal, they're growing new muscles, they're growing new heart cells, new veins, new first muscle cells. It is not the word that a toddler learning to put the hands together is, is wrong. 
I care that is intent of saving the health and lives of 100 million children of their hands. Tell your children never to kneel, especially children. Never kneel. Any age, humans, toddlers, tell to the teachers, you have to speak, act now. Save the health and median lives of 100 million people, children. That health cannot be healed. Any cells, exact these wordings, each one have a meaning. To patiently, carefully listen to this. Share this to others. Make your own videos of the exact right wording. Share this video. Share it to viewers you have, blogs other people have. Who are the main ones with the put the, the Pope to get this video to him? World leaders have the viewers put it every day. Hundred million people will view this. If I was in the States, we'd go on TV show and million people tune in. This is a video can be given. Someone can put this online. I don't mind. This is the purpose to help humanity. All children save their health. Prevent it from suffering. Prevent it from failing. Prevent them from damaging their hands. If they kneel, they strain the heart. They don't even have the new sensory stretch enough sense receptors in the skin itself grown yet. Is taller, barely learning to walk. The cells still growing, muscles built throughout their life, built on vitamins, absorbed into the bloodstream, not easy to do when they're older, to inform children themselves when they're old enough to teach these in schools, more health focused of human. And this new mass I made replaced the old one. The new holy mass, Angelica holy mass made and God sent, Jesus sent, Holy Spirit sent to focus on an informative, merciful, caring session to prevent the health, failing, and suffering, and stop suffering of humanity, children, old people, religious or not, all humans to have proper health, informed, basic human nutrition, anatomy, physiology. Put on this site, New Holy Mass, informative session, short one, spiritual virtue use, some basic religious information you need about the heavens they still have. The, the Our Father, Hail Mary, has to keep as an informative piece to keep their humans to be know what it is about, but don't have to pray it. It is not a job of human to pray within their soul to mention care enough to pray for someone shortly and let heaven know what help they need. That is the most important Thing, especially to children so they don't strain the heart calories humans of all ages to learn this caregivers parents please it is your job to hear this from the kindest heart of my human earth angel soul that suffer these things i don't want your children any child baby toddler any human at any age then older people not easy to heal anything to suffer any of this Ill health, overstretched hands and praying, damaged heart. Tell your children never make the sign of the cross. This is a damaging the human physical health and overstretching and squishing cells. And a child that didn't even grow new cells enough to handle it and have that harmed for life and cannot heal it. Even one time. Never do it at home. Never make the sign of the cross in a church anywhere in the world. It is not required by God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, or any Holy Mary, anyone in heaven, for a human to ever make the sign of the cross. A human to put their hand, please tell your children to save their health. I did for years this sign cross, but never told when anyone told me this, and I would avoid doing it and save my health drastically for years, seriously, a lot, and million people. That's why I learned this, and telling as a real human earth angel, if I was in heaven, where I choose to be, but I'm on earth as human earth angel, if I was in heaven, be an archangel, and make sure this information was got 200 million people of all religions years ago. And no one suffered this for years. Any ill health making sign of the cross. This is a true God sent message, but from the heart and soul of a human earth angel. Angelica Jacella, tell your children, never make the sign of the cross. 
and all humans. Pass this on. Simple. Even made another little video. Put it online to save children. Spread this information on your sites. Keep posting on put a new holy mass. Make sure the priests hear about this and Pope. And in effect, already immediately, I made the video recently. Other ones recently. Every human have to subscribe to save the health and lives of all humanity. Children, to respect dignity of all employers, everyone, to restore uh, respect for all and the proper health, preventative measures, care for all. Physical level, educated in New Holy Mass, spiritual and in Catholic schools, elementary, high school, university, religious or not, be, and and preventative COVID measures. Up to date, take the time, proper and up to date mass, proper to prevent this from spreading at all costs, help the children, inform them they are the future of the world. You have moral obligation as parents, children to take care, inform them, educate yourself. You chose, you knew you're gonna have a life to take care of a child, a baby, all the years as a toddler and then as an adult if disabled to care for it even as adult if something happened you are the parent you are morally obligated to care to love this child to nurture its spiritual clean-minded well-being a valued human life the caregivers of animals too they have a life, nurture, care for them, inform, educate yourself. You're morally obligated under God to do. You signed yourself up for this. You knew ahead of time that you were going to be in, in a lifelong commitment to care for another human life, another animal life, to care for it. 100 million seconds to watch over it, to care for it, to make sure it's proper health, shelter, safe, peaceful place to live. A good caring role model, a parent, caregiver, there all the time, never leaving it alone. The baby, the toddler, a child, an adult, disabled or not, financially help it, a warm, safe place to live, to have financial resources to accomplish it, plan ahead of time if having a child, to have animals that care for, to care for the animals if they have infants. COVID times, masks put on, care to constantly care, and for babies to make sure the mask, they have enough air to breathe when have it, so they don't injure their little ears. There's blood vessels there, harmed with these ear loops. To keep moving it, I put a sponge there, some not irritating skin or the hair put there where the ear loop is, so don't harm the ears. This is a simple fact. Short little sentences from these humans can help even. Put online one sentence, one information humans suffered, even themselves or heard about, or prevent another human as well to suffer, so they don't suffer it rather, will save the health of 100 million people and tell others, but have to act to say to please share this, to please view this, share this video, tag it to others, put it, give it to those people with the most followers, already subscribers. Tell other doctors of sites that already that care to mention this information that have the million viewers, humans like these people, then they obviously listen to them and want more helpful information. If you have to act, it is a highly valued by heaven, these gifts every human has, starting as kind earth angel babies, to be nurtured and cared for by their caregivers, by the educators the school teachers, elementary, preschool, high school, universities, seminaries, and then the religious world, these world leaders or worship leaders, the Pope, morally obligated, sign up, they study for the purpose of these jobs, to guide spiritually, have to be now these days educated in physical health matters and to save the health and lives as well. Find humans that are more educated in these matters to volunteer. Parishioners would love to help them on these sites. Care for physical health belongs to God. Spiritual health virtues used to help others selflessly without expecting any reward. 
to help others prevent them from suffering in the ways they need to relieve it. Example, even religious or not, but of Jesus does exist in heaven. Humans to do morally right with the intent of relieving, helping someone obviously care enough to help them so they're not suffering and they would like to be respected. Don't want to suffer any ill health. Everyone wants to be healthy, then they function properly, then they can do what they choose, be happy. And to rethink of this, and all babies and children want to be healthy and happy, so they accomplish what they choose in life to be cared for. So they can accomplish this. If the parents, caregivers are not going to do this, then please don't have the children. Consider COVID times. Consider they don't wait till maybe the, the virus is gone entirely and variant strains. To not have an infant born into a world where they might get a virus and die. Might lose a parent, even not them itself, but the parent might get a virus and won't have a parent who will be homeless on the street freezing million seconds with no food to take care of it, no shelter, a loved pet could lose a parent or caregiver. They, they might not have anyone to take care of them. This already happened in the world. There's a lot of orphans because of it. They have no parents that they loved or animals, loved ones crying. They have no one there for them. They have no one to give them food when they're growing. No shelter in cold countries, in Canada states, in, 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 a, in different countries in too warm temperatures with no water. Would our, our humans valued and would learn to go to school to learn a most kind heart to care others, to help them have no shelter from the sun? The caregivers, some people care but need funding for them to help them. These are millions of these people in the world. They are mostly children at the age of some one years old, some even younger infants, up to five to ten years old. 20 years old children crying because they don't have parents anymore. This is still going on in the world and can be prevented by humans caring to save and prevent the health failing of all, especially of the children, to think through first to end the Pope. He has to resign. If I was in that country, but I can't, I have fear rights to fly there, I would long years ago. And I would go and replace the Pope myself, as a million people would have already. He is God's representative on earth. The million popes in previous years did almost nothing. In terms of what the actual they have in their job description, under God, morally obligated, million viewers every day, to set a good example of physical caring health. The new mass I made purposely, get rid of all the old Catholic, harmful, long hour humans sleep through when they suffer getting there to these worship places that are closed, too cold to warm enter, out of care, respect of life, the holy grounds closed. Even till COVID is when it's gone entirely, then and varying strains to open only if it's proper temperatures and a safe place for human to walk in normal temperatures to get there. If not, close the grounds, put it into a normal facility to help people, sell the property, put it into for someone to a caring ground, for a homeless shelter warm enough to care for humanity. All churches, mosques, Buddhist temples, all not proper warm temperatures and most of them too far for humans to get early in the morning. Walked in too cold warm temperatures were places of humans bodily harms, not knowing about it. Suffered making signs of crosses for hours. Praying needless prayers, extra symbolic reasons. These tell your children don't mention any for symbolic purposes, anything more than once. Never repeat any religious wordings. Any words such as Jesus have mercy in my life and whole world, never repeat. Don't if you say once, don't repeat more than once. There is no use to it. A child is growing, doesn't need to strain its heart and veins, burning calories to think this is a brain takes a lot of glucose and vitamins to think of these things and together in their heart and soul. 
this is this is out of respect of all children everywhere a human earth angel that lived through this doesn't want any child to suffer even one more second anywhere in the world to tell them all caregivers as well practice this to never repeat any religious wordings is in this enough in the heart and soul to to even mention what they're mentioning to Jesus, what the actual intent is, if they care enough to help someone, is recorded in their thoughts, brain, mind, heart, and soul, to tell the children, to tell the caregivers, parents, adults, priests, ministers, act now, spread this information. When more people hear this, then tell them to act, to spread this to others. They have the hundred parishioners, the Pope can easily tweet this and put every day as needed to refresh in everyone's memory to know this. Save the health and lives of 100 million children, of adults. They have to save their health while they're young, growing rested enough, and then not to repeat any prayers. The Jesus mercy is a mercy, kindness, and compassion. When a child mentions their adult, Jesus have mercy in my life in our world, a hundred million people mention this in the world and three times and it strained their heart and health and never Jesus ever actually appeared and helped anyone. From heaven, he does exist, I know, but with his holy powers that have for miraculous to proportions to help and by holy grace of God to love and care for someone but is not present on earth. I prayed these myself, told this child, but it could have been told or even mentioned once what the intent is why I'm praying this for someone else, for mercy for humans so not to suffer, that is what it is, a virtue, compassion for Jesus to have for someone not to suffer, to help them if they're poor, for so to pray these selflessly for others, intercessory prayers. It is not that Jesus Tell everyone, this is not what St. Faustina said. If she did, this disregard it. Don't think anymore. Get rid of from every child curriculum. Act now, board members, trustees, Catholic ones, all religions are not schools anywhere taught this. Pray the Divine Mercy chaplets. There's a whole rosary of this. Get rid of it. This is misinformation. Either on St. Faustina's part, there's no way that Jesus told uh, people to pray the Holy Rosary with divine mercy to strain their heart and health. To mention Jesus have mercy in my life three times. This uh, damages severely the human nervous system and heart to think this and burns a lot of calories and strains the brain. To mention three times, which is not proper to human health. This is Angelica from the heart and soul telling a child is better off when they care to if they choose to pray, say, Jesus, this human needs help. Please help them. And let the, the child to say if they didn't, Jesus did the next step to heal them or help them poor and let them know. Then record it in the soul thought. Don't strain the heart and then let them know that tell Jesus that he's supposed to help this person. You didn't help when I told you right away. They're still suffering. Please do something. Then they know, hopefully, from heaven, that will accomplish more, which had to be done for years. As child and adults, more when they're older, have enough heart, more cells can more seriously tell Jesus what he's actually supposed to do on earth. He said he'd never leave humanity alone. After he died, went to heaven, and he had huge, holy, more powers. To be the mercy to make sure no one suffer on earth for all the years after God left his world running. Without him actually doing with his holy healings and everything supposed to. Make sure everyone healthy and safe. So the humans and a the child then to inform them. And then uh, throughout the years as an adult. To then if they, let the Jesus or God know what they prayed. It wasn't accomplished, the miracle, the next step. And then to tell them they had no right to do this and get themselves from heaven to fix it, to heal this person. Tell them the truth, more will be accomplished, hopefully sooner. And then if there's anything you can do, tell the child if they know and safe to do as a, a human to help someone in that, in that way, if they have money 
or someone parent to let them know someone is poor, that they pray for God and help yet by the heavens, to, to ask them to help them, let them know, or children to, when safe to do, but it's COVID times, to, to teach them virtues, what they can do as a human, or find someone who has resources to help other people. This is what is supposed to be taught above all homeschooling while COVID is going on, children to stay home or safe and warm, caregivers, parents, mother, father, orphan caregivers of humans and animals, farmers, conservationists, people that deal with nature, informed about nutrition, health matters, the human is going to have a child. The caregivers put more funding research in, a, in the funding into fertilizer, proper proper organic foods, grown in proper facilities to have proper nutrients for food in all countries, to cold, to warm, to give to humans to grow cells, to be healthy, care enough to have a child, to have proper nutritious food. To put on this label, this it takes action. What lots of humans learned over time and certain suffered, what lots of people know, but didn't take the or didn't even know, get this thought in their head. Would love to do, but to 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 think about it and write it down and put online is modern day social media everywhere. Post tag hundred people in one email. Some people have more money, can put an ad and boost posts and send to million people somewhere. And million people will tune in and view this helpful one fact and prevent the health failing of 100 million people instantly in the whole world in every country as they deserve simple information. Children mainly, babies, animals, nutri uh, fertilizer, proper nutrients to grow the, the fruits and vegetables, which fruits and vegetables are proper for humans to actually eat. In the long run, tomatoes have good certain certain lycopene, beneficial, but a lot of people avoid these if they have allergies, a stomach that already damaged lining. If it damages the lining over time, then maybe it's to be as to leave it out of a human diet, especially if they're going to have children. Someone if healthy enough, minimize only eat a tiny bit of tomatoes, or we do find a way those humans dealing with this can find a make a Juice version of a tiny amount of it, still safe, so that enough the humans still get the nutritious value from tomatoes, but without it irritating the stomach lining. These are things that humans are doing research on a lot of care, but a lot of them don't have the job that they even studied university, high school, even long years, but don't aren't given the job because the employers are hiring people that don't care. They wrongly did, or did they hire someone that said they would care but not doing their job? And 100 million people suffered because of it, ill health, and still goes on in the world. So it takes human to act, file complaints to those in higher levels. They are morally responsible under God to work with people and the million people under them to care for their health and dignity. If they don't, tell them they have criminal charges. They are harming human lives. They can't do it. They have to be fired, resigned. Give their paychecks back to help those victims. Put funding to care, restore what they did wrong. For shelter, for proper care, medical care, help the poor. The Pope has the finances. He's, not, he's traveling in his jets, but the Africa, this tiny little children, could easily send in one account money, and they'd have the million dollar nice, even luxury condo they deserve in a warm air condition, nice air conditioned, properly circulated building in an almost desert place where they live in a nice, caring, warm facility that they deserve. Million children. And live there and happy. Uh, pencils, nice ones to write, to learn in school. Nice caregivers, to whom we love to take care of them, doing money. Water, food, could easily ship there, do nothing. He's sleeping all the time. He does his shows, the world leaders, but they, they don't want to suffer. Their children have million dollar, the, the designer labels. They have children. They're not doing what they're under God, have million viewers to care for all humans, respect dignity. I made another video, please share to the world, to all world leaders, keep giving it to them, make sure they see it, resign if they don't care in all ways that they have job,
powers and authority in their jobs to do under God. Religious or not to care. Provide proper shelter for humans of all ages, especially children. Every country, they have the money to do. If they tell you not, they lie. They have a hundred billions of dollars to invest and it's their job under God, trained to do they know, to make sure everyone has enough shelter. Proper masks, proper labeled COVID masks, this information, remember, for children as well as animals. Look on the packaging for masks. If it's an expiry date, if it doesn't have an expiry date, don't purchase it. Masks made of chemicals, if they break down past expiry date, don't buy them. They are harmful to babies' health, animals, all humans of all ages, caregivers. And they're made of mostly polypropylene, the recent ones, N95 masks. There's a new four-layer mask. Five-layer is an extra layer of material. Keep in mind, you have to breathe air. Find the one proper for you. The ear loops. These are put around the ears, irritate the skin. Wear the mask when needed. But you can, as I stated, for children, you can, without harming it, put the hair, the longer hair, put it near the ears. So put the ear loop around the, on the hair. It will not damage the veins, the little blood vessels on the ears of the skin. This simple fact to be told to 100 million parents, carers right now that I haven't heard anywhere in the world will save the health of 100 million children and adults to spread to disabled people. For the animals have ears too, even though they have fur. These ear loops, this rubber, whatever, is tight on the ears when they put the mask to prevent COVID. It is tight on the ears, circulation prevented because it's damaging, it's tight on the ears there behind the, where the ear is attached to the side of the head. Humans sometimes wear this for hours. Animals, babies, and the parents not even got this idea, but would love to know. Would it keep stand there with the child and put the to put a, a little piece of material there where the ear is or the ear loop is under the, the the ear loop the stretchy rubber part around the ear under it so the child's ear is not harmed even then make sure it's loose enough so the so the the baby's ear has enough circulation the little veins arteries the skin is each each easily damaged it is growing new cells as it is. They might have restricted blood flow, squished vein there where the ear is in pain, crying, and the parent might not know why. To think of this, to care for the infant, even if the hair is put there with the, this mask there, the ear loop, the rubber band around there, the ear, to keep moving it a little bit, to properly circulate the blood flow from the ear. It's all connected, the veins, the little ears to the rest of the body flow if it's restricted. The body will have a heart problem. The baby, the toddler for life might be harmed once and could be have a damaged veins, arteries for life. And then it's not blood flow properly to the heart, have a heart problem for life. Can exercise properly, uh, blood proper, not proper blood flow to the brain. Because the blood flow is restricted, then the brain controls everything, and then, the, then enough blood flow, then enough oxygen flowing through it, all leads to other health concerns. No human child wants. Humans need proper oxygen in the brain and blood flow, or this is a here it's serious human health concern. The brain won't function, and then the rest of the body will not function properly. But a million children, people, adults, myself, go put the mask, but they know they're in pain. The adults know this in the ears, but don't have this, the thought to know this and think of this. So please tell other ones, act human. You have to act. Put this even sentences online. Make your own videos about this to inform others. Let them know to, to like adults, if they're in pain, would take the ear loops, adjust them with the hands when needed. But the little babies can't, they're in pain. They have to be cared for, the dogs, even though they have fur, have veins underneath, near the ears there, the bunnies.
any one of the respiratory tracts, the breathing, the lungs, potential of getting the virus with the masks on, them exercising to keep in mind telling children when they're, they're actually moving. They have a mask on, need to breathe air. Humans that ex exercise as an adult, they take a mask off because they need oxygen to move when they breathe, to exercise more, need more air to breathe in and out. When a human has a mask on, then they breathe out the CO2 and the oxygen in. But when they have the mask on, they're breathing more CO2 and they breathe out of the CO2, they use air, carbon dioxide. And then when they breathe it back in, and the more they breathe it in, because it stays where the mask is, they poison themselves. So a child is being poisoned when they have the mask, so only needed to be put on their little mouth when needed, with enough space beside the mouth, not entirely sealed, so they're not suffocated. Then they don't have enough oxygen to the heart and brain and can have severe damage, brain damage for life and heart and be crippled for life, have a learning disability, brain damage problem, other problems for life, muscle problems, because no oxygen enough flowing to the bloodstream. And this will last for all life, when harmed once this way. And animals, and still 100 million people actually live through this. So please use this information to share to all humans to prevent them from suffering. Any human informed as this education, such as myself, or learned, seen what went on in the world, learned from suffering myself, then learned not to do it myself anymore. If someone told me, I would have avoided doing certain things to prevent it to help my health, but I didn't know, so now I know. I tell to others. Angelica, human or angel, telling send message to all other humans. Be they you be actually human or angels. Use your virtues to care enough to listen to this. Patience is a virtue to be patient and listen to this all. Understand what I'm saying is another virtue. Understanding what I'm saying with the need to help others. To be kind, compassionate. These virtues, gifts of the spirit. And to selflessly use these virtues together with the education, educatedly with the information I told you and other humans to put this together, to remember it as many times as needed, to act, the act to selflessly do a merciful, charitable act to help others prevent their suffering by simply even stating this information, beneficial to their health, to prevent the health from failing of babies to let the parents, caregivers know, the fathers, mothers, potential parents, planning to have children. We, when it's COVID times to think against this until it's really safe to the virus gone from the world and very strange, then they know the infant will be born into a world with no virus, potential of getting ill. The animals I live a happy life and to go to schools when it's old enough to actually go to schools where children are not when COVID is closed. The children cannot socialize, the crying. They want to see their friends, but it's not safe to do, to keep the member children away from other children. Even if three or four booster shot vaccinated, they might get a fifth. There's a different strain that they're not actually vaccinated against and still get the virus, that one. There's other viruses going on people have, not only coronavirus and different strains that mutated, changed forms. These are simple facts, but I put together in the world for humans to hear this, to see this, to use this knowledge, be human earth angels yourself in the new holy mass, pose this, the three main parts of masks geared toward new ones online, short versions after long work week to find even a proper day for this when humans well rested. Sundays tell the children, parents, givers, priests, popes, in effect immediately already. I told other previous videos, human earth angel, real one, not a holy angel, but sent a normal human on earth, chose on earth to help humans with not holy powers, but from my own virtues, what I can accomplish as human on earth. 
knowledge to help other humans, prevent them from suffering, children, animals, pets, and nature, to help others, to act, be an activist, safe to do, help file complaints to those who do wrong. If they let know they're doing wrong, they know they can't, then they will be stopped. Tell them to hire people that care. People need paychecks to live. Give it to those that care, that will actually help people. All priests, ministers, and bishops, most of them old over time, they strain their health going, saying these masses. Some making sermons that even I don't understand why even uh, God doesn't do anything on earth or the Pope to look into these. That's their jobs. That's I get rid of entirely. I got rid of it. I, what I say goes. I'm a human earth angel. What I'm speaking is more as valuable as any archangel in heaven, a celestial being. Speaking a God-sent message on earth to prevent the suffering of humanity. Of all children. Prevent all suffering starting being informed as humans to care for their health the parents starting then to care for their own health if they're not going to care enough or in some way can't for another infant for an infant to be born then don't get pregnant don't have the child respect its unborn life make sure it's not don't have the child don't think of even having it. Don't think of adopting an animal, another child, if you can't take care of it. Respect their dignity is a valued life that you would want to be respected as a human. They want to be respected as well and right to be. All souls, brains, physicality, organs of a human Animals, living creatures, pets, nature, all belong to God. Loved into existence, created as perfectly as they can. I have the right and dignity, a value to be respected in every way that, that they choose and right to be. To be healthy, to be taught this and maintained in every online school. Elementary online school classes, high schools, short online sessions, parents to learn this information, even parents to care this idea, to, to tell the learn from online what the teachers taught, to lessen the time that the children's or COVID sit in front of potential laptop to learn from teachers. When they can't go physically to classes to prevent the spread of COVID and variant strains at every age, even a high school university. For those parents, when can even learning short lectures, especially well, especially young age, the children for the parents to be given from the teachers to access the parents to see online to save the poor children vision, limit them getting those those signals from the laptop or on a line from a cell phones that harm the brain mind no human can heal save their vision they need to have be healthy or growing new cells vision part brain mind to be cared for their own health and the parents have to make sure of these caregivers morally obligated to do to then teach the children this to care for their own health this way they are growing, need to rest, to care for the vision, because when they get older, it is not easy for them to heal, absorb any nutrients, to accomplish this, to take care of their own vision, eye tissue, cells, heart, nervous system, bones, all skin cells, don't overstretch anything, it cannot, it don't, it not, humans are not made of rubber. Once the human cells are overstretched, they are essentially overstretched and harmed and stayed away for life basically they cannot be healed it's better into a preventative measure for humans to be informed to slow down take care be well rested sleep enough teach the children this 
to take care of think of their health uh, every day ride a car to think of their health first did they sleep enough all the children schools did they eat enough nutrients to walk somewhere the humans need glucose calories digest simple blood sugars to to move the muscles to think the brain takes a huge amount of glucose just to think for the heart to beat simple facts like this to care for the children the parents to take a note and make one every day my humans may post easily do type this few sentences post online share this to million people ministers under there's a this online the prayer groups have all the viewers millions already the, the new holy mass is told to priests already in effect angelica human earth angel spoke god sent message jesus sent message holy spirit to prevent the health failing and suffering of humanity for the, the parents to look online for the best help save the children's health as much as needed and safe for them to do when they have enough rest and nutrients to do something to move their arms proper vitamins proteins to make the muscles to to avoid all processed foods entirely to avoid white flour and pasta this saves the human health a lot especially if humans have gluten problems humans to internalize whole grains pasta there's a new whole grain chips sun chips i eat myself that humans they not obviously allergies but can eat are more helpful to human health a lot than any chips that are with the, the fats there trans fats saturated fats to inform themselves others obviously the research been done msgs mono sodium glutamate if it's on a product label which the most world has gotten rid of this item but if it's there to avoid it entirely it is problematic to human health adults children trans fats are no good to read product labels the parents to learn this take the time to care be human earth angels be patient is a virtue use this to tell and inform the children about this to remind them as many times needed so they learn and then they learn from themselves to to read these labels to inform themselves what if it's proper nutrition content for them to buy a certain food item the kids are a human life that have in physicality that are growing need vitamins all the time proteins amino acids milk calcium uh, for healthy bones and teeth the whole skeletal structure bones in their tiny little fingers arms feet the, the spine the skull all needs growing new bone cells need starting as a child to grow these cells and absorb as much as they can especially girls and women that are menstrual cycles after to throughout their life to internalize proper amounts of calcium to build up throughout the years the research done simple facts like this to share to people calcium then the bind from vitamin D from the sun if humans can go it in the sun or help from food uh, supplements there are needed if not enough gotten from food to help bind this calcium the magnesium to help absorb it and taurine found in certain foods to find which ones they are internalize if they proper to the health to look online every day or as needed to main find a proper doctor that cares some online sites to update uh, research that has been done over years people put on their blogs nutrition health websites personal self help sites people can use this information other humans did work to care enough to help people find these links if you think is proper credible to give and share it to a million people who love to know this to save their own health from suffering in the first place simple nutrition facts 
nuts, most of all the nuts except humans for humans that have allergies. The nuts and for children to to read labels in case humans that have allergies to avoid cross contamination from other substances to read the labels to make sure they don't have any nut products or not in the when when the process of making those those food items never ca came in contact in a in a facility that might have had nuts made and processed near these items that could have spread some particles or anything from another nut product that can make humans allergic to it, that have allergies to nuts, many types of nuts, different types of foods included, fish, humans have allergies of all kinds. Some humans have to be respected, but these and the children need to be informed about this. I human learned these things throughout the years, but the most important of these facts that I'm actually stating, that I worked hard for $7 in factory, barely got a job in Canada, which is beyond wrong, but I learned anyway the life science is basic human nutrition course that needs to be taught to children. Throughout the years, the research done that online, even people that kind of post to look up, do your job as parents. And most are narrowed down is the true actual real, real information, which they're all mostly all nuts are beneficial if they don't have allergies to eat, eat enough of a food. These nuts are healthy throughout the day because they provide good energy for them to do something, even though small and better than any chips, snacks. These are nuts, seeds, walnuts, good for the brain. Each keep in mind nuts have little different vitamins, proteins, essential amino acids. Brown rice is good. Wild rice has almost all amino acids essential. These are little ones that make up the proteins and the muscles and different parts of the brain. Neurotransmitters that send chemical little messages to the brain, to the rest of the body. These are things that a course like this that I learned and travel far to learn and had to pay thousand dollars for your course of this but other humans learn this but have the information so please this is what children to summarize and change curriculums to put these posts online when the COVID is there for parents to help the children learn this through life for health purposes first they're growing what new cells they need to build on throughout their life some vitamins and build a body can store certain vitamins and extra ones if needed but some not some have to be internalized from food some these are many things that are, uh, is one fact at a time that humans think have to act and help put online videos share to humans put little post tags and keep posting you they all have the viewers People actually love to hear these people that they like, especially doctors. They look up because they know they're doctors. They want humans to humans want doctors to help their health. That's what they're expecting. Psychiatrists help physical health of their brain, mental well-being. Most humans' mental health problems need a good cognitive behavior therapy. As someone to counsel to be there for them to be happy provide a welcoming environment to provide proper nutrient care and uh, re recommend proper nutritious supplements if need in addition to a proper diet first of healthy food and fluids to promote a happy environment for them to tell them to think first happy to help others be happy then they will be happy to exercise properly, to be safe, to help them accomplish what will make joy in their life. Even with depression, this all starts with thinking. Humans not to think of what made them depressed, to give them a healthy, proper diet. They don't need any dangerous antipsychotics. This is harmful to health, need all get rid of from the market. They harm the brain. Telling this all humans all ages, I'm a victim, no. To inform children in their medical care, properly care for the health, help their health. Brain mental health mainly needs proper nutrients as they're growing, proper vitamin D, 
even from the sun helps million brain and immune system health, especially during COVID times. Everyone, please take have enough vitamin D, zinc, selenium, B complex. These help the brain, digestive tract, metabolism. These B vitamins essential to all. Vitamin C antioxidant helps the immune system fight off viruses, bacteria that human can as much as can, but others then human need vaccines to help this to make antibodies against actually certain real harmful virus viruses fight off bacteria. There are no cures for against the coronavirus and their variant strains. These are parent caregivers, the intent to inform yourself, educate yourselves, care for your health with this knowledge, share to all, then to help the children educate them about this. When they're knowledgeable, then they will care for their own health and how to take care of it. They are growing to keep in mind, need to sleep and have enough nutrients for the brain that controls all their body functions. Even this thought in itself, a simple fact, to keep in mind and keep telling to the children that your brain needs enough glucose to function. Did you sleep enough? If you sleep first enough rested, then you get up in the morning if you already ate and then you, you sleep rather as a child. Then you and, and the adults to think of this too and to tell these to help humans be earth angels, help them to know these. When they sleep, then they get up to the washroom. The, the excrete poo when they come out, pee, need to rest. The already even simple fact to tell them to think of this, to rest a bit. The body already, already just the blood mostly goes to the digestive tract for the poo to come out, pee, to rest a bit till the body, the blood starts going rest more proper to the organs. Then they can walk safely to kitchen, eat some food so they have calories energy to accomplish something to wait till the food is properly digested chewed properly to small pieces and mouth the little enzymes in saliva digest more swallow the tiny particles don't harm the food pipe then the stomach digest absorb the nutrients in the intestines go to bloodstream muscles where they need the vitamins minerals potassium a banana in the morning for the heart Slice as much need for child, avocado healthy fat for the brain and heart, omega-3 fatty acids, basic ones, are found in the little pills, safe but for children, little oils if needed, but actually need first found, but for children maybe not, but in, in, um, in fish, these are essential to human brain, proper and heart health. Omega-3 fatty acids. These are the main things. Sodium chloride, that is salt, to avoid iodized white table salt. Humans all ages, the pink one is more safe. To internalize, to have enough salt, sodium and chloride. Chloride for the, especially separately for the stomach, to have a normal stomach acids levels. These are basic things that a humans have stomach that is healthy, intestine, gut that start where most of the, the immune system is, uh, is to starts from being healthy. And then the whole hum, human physicality stays healthy. Simple facts that human learn that even through studies, but a normal human would love to know. And to start as a proper age child to inform them, to remind them, refresh their memory so they know and tell them to tell other children when safe and other humans this simple and nutrition information, proper exercise facts, walking is good exercise, but they need to be well rested first, digest food, wait the minutes as long as it takes when after digest food so they have enough calories for their heart to beat to actually move their muscles, glucose to get to the muscles, brain first, so they have energy from food to do something, the vitamins they eat. It is more centered on all humans to care for their health, to raise, to raise during COVID times, 
if then when they have enough rest to, to sleep, consider the parents. Then when a child tell them enough, when they're old enough, they can think for themselves about this. If they're if it's too cold to go outside, then to care to think of doing something indoors to save their health, not to go to school. Is a health is more important than going and getting fever on the way beyond is too cold most of the year in Canada states. I know there's no human should live through. Almost have fever every day, cold, or nose secretion, green out of their nose, lungs. And that is the only the cold virus in itself. And have a fever need to be rehydrated. It's things like Gatorade, for example, have electrolytes, sodium, potassium, or get from bananas, water, enough fluids, vitamin C than needed. But it's better to prevent a human from and a child from being ill in the first place with cold to stay home when it's warm. The schools close as it is and have to be during COVID, so stay home is warm, safe, especially through winter, fall, spring, months, summer is barely warm, but then a human is healthy at least. They can do then have the health, physical health, to do something, exercise, skip a child, jump rope, do something happy, help someone, do spiritually, morally right, pray for others shortly, sit and rest anywhere in the world can sit or stand resting that's what heaven wants god and jesus holy spirit the guardian angels holy mary to tell the children they can pray in the heart soul for anyone they don't have to don't tell them not to sing the hymns they don't have to sing it strains the heart they're growing don't have to make sure they don't travel to any place of worship even if it's covid is gone to travel in cold and warm in the Sunday when it's God's day of rest for children to sleep and rest when they need the most. They learn the whole week. Humans work the week. Study is a day of rest. Even God day. God took a day after a long week creating the universe to rest. Tell the children this. Effect immediately. Share this to all this video, previous video made about more information about this to save the health and lives of children. Everyone care for your own health, parents, caregivers. Save the health and lives of children, kids. Be informed, educated about your own health. If you go in and about COVID times, think things through. If you're going to bring a life into this earth, a child, make sure you have all financial resources for life to take care of it if needed. A warm, safe environment. A caring enough money for nutritious food, depending what's going on in the world. If there's a COVID pandemic, you might not want to have a child yet. Wait till it's safe to do is gone. So it doesn't get the virus or different strains. They are changing, mutating forms. It's not safe for any human to have a child now. There's other viruses going on in the world, bacteria, animals, caregivers, humans already suffered. To think of these things is a life. It is worth to be respected and not to have this life, a child born, and not to, to think of having this child, to respect it that way to not even get pregnant, to think not to to get pregnant in the first place, to respect that so that is not born into a not safe world. So this it is out of respect for all. The care for the animals too. As I stated, they don't have the intellectual brain, thinking, reasoning ability humans have to educate themselves about wearing a mask, viruses, putting on humans to care, to think of this, have to help them make sure they're all rested, sleep enough, help them find caring vets if needed, proper nutritious food, uh, these animal food to find the most best ones for animals. For the pets, look online, do the research. Most research has been done. 
uh, find someone to take the second humans, no other humans to recommend. They would say a site online. Most of millions of viewers are real. If it's a good, nice doctor or vet to find or find, a, ask a doctor to recommend someone that has the already proper nutrition information. Summarize, post short ones to click on it, print it yourself. You read it for yourself as an everyday. Refresh your memory to care for the animals, to help the children, care for your own health. You're morally obligated as caregivers to do, parents, those working in the jobs that deal with humans and animals, children, children schools, trustees, boards, do the job, close the schools, respect the children and yourself. If you're not, you're morally doing wrong. You don't get away with it under God. You cannot make your paycheck resign. Any principal, teacher, elementary, high school teacher that opened the doors and cafeterias had children eating there and near children standing outside after the day was over with no masks are, are not doing the job, have to be fired. They endangered the lives of hundreds of students for years and during COVID times. They are morally under God did wrong and cannot make their paycheck and have to turn it in by law. They didn't do their, their train to do to care for the respect and life of all those children. To care enough to close the schools when it's too cold. The viruses for years still. Cafeterias, children take masks out, eat food. Then they have to hire humans now to act and parents to think of this and phone the trustees. There's online emails. Look up on the phone, on this iPhone, there are these have internet access, millions of people. Find the click on the website, say file complaint department, Catholic Board School, Ontario, United States, this school name, put a file complaint. This teacher is not closing the doors, the board open the schools, they can't. The parents have to act, are the children gonna suffer? The parents cannot allow for this. The, the teachers obviously not care enough for themselves to respect a child life either, to close the doors. They're showing up traveling in cold or too warm. So they're the, the, and, and not in helping the, to care for children to say, I'm not going to prevent the spread of the virus. If the children get ill, they're going to suffer two weeks and die, and it will never go be ended from the world from spreading. And there's a million teachers still going on with this, making their money. They're living happy, but the children died, suffered, lost pets, parents spread. Humans don't have jobs, homeless. Millions happened to this already in the world for four years. Everyone save your children. Never take them to any church ground especially during COVID and very strange times, save your own health as well. Inform million people, be a human earth angel, save the lives of 100 million children, kind babies, toddlers. All God expects from these children is that they, 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 they exist and to be caring and informed about to care for the health by you, the caregivers, to raise them properly, care for the proper basic necessities of life, to focus, they have a warm temperature, function, proper brain health, proper materials, blankets, proper air, circulate, place safe to live, peaceful, happy, joyous life. To teach them properly as you can, proper educate yourself up to date every day. There's new research going on, new most nutritious food, the ones to leave out, leave out of it. To help the little babies, raise them, they're growing. Remember this every day, write it down. Yourself, cells, humans die and grow every day, new ones. Need food, proper nutrients, which ones do what, which vitamins for the bloodstream help. Some help the heart, some are bad for the heart, avoid them. Each different vein, artery, bone needs certain vitamins good for them. Some other food items are bad, avoid them. These things, humans, the basic human nutrition to be put online more. Humans learn, share it to others, help the children learn proper age, keep reviewing it, tell them.
curriculums online focus on their physical nutrition health spiritual to help others that's most important then if they're separately math and things they build on themselves and sort of specialize in a certain job they choose the rest is useless old testament get rid of it no child is expected to walk in the cold or too hot miles strain their heart with no calories and sleep throughout the day before they get to school anyway in the old world and learn the Old Testament, what God doesn't even understand, a whole sentence is there, and definitely a child or adult can't, is useless. I learned myself this as a child, had to learn this to pass the tests, and I human strain my health and never use this information ever. It all curriculums need to be changed. Schools are not teaching anything proper. Some few things basic over years, but this is not, this is not a proper safe place for children. Over time, there's a, the people that care hire them. Nutrition based, caring for human children, spiritual virtues, religious or not, need to know this. Respect those in heaven, Jesus, too. No one gets away with morally doing wrong. It is recorded in every human soul. Physicality, actions, brain, mind. All human soul affect a life of another. Parents of children. Children affect what they're taught from parents, the physical health and spiritual guidance to others, to animals, to nature. All have a right to be respected, valued. Health is most important. Keep in mind enough sleep, nutrition, normal human temperatures to function brain and body. Those that have the intelligence care for the younger ones, teach them properly about this and remind them and keep up to date with up to date research and then they will help and teach others and be healthy prevent suffering of all everyone will be healthy everyone will be happy and they will have heaven on earth as they rightly deserve all human earth angels all animal earth angels all nature earth angels thank you for listening to this video there's a lot of information, but take it a bit at a time and watch as needed. Write down any information you need. I suffered myself. I don't want anyone else to suffer. This intent of preventing of suffering of all children from the kindness of the heart of a kind human earth angel. Angelica Jukela. Please, on the bottom of the video, subscribe, add subscribers. Share this to all. See my other Earth Angel sites. They're online and I type it if I can. The information mostly in each video to prevent COVID for children. Another caregiver video. A different human dignity to respect in all job titles to care for all humans. These are all main made to care for animals to remind humans with respiratory tracts and children to respect to prevent COVID spread and varying strains. Uh, these are mainly all made, all different ones, to help humans to pray short prayers. The other ones that change the Holy Mass, effective immediately. All priests and Pope have to go along with it, all world leaders, to save the health and lives of millions of people. A God-spoken message, but from the heart of a human earth angel. Humans have to act now. Share these videos. Please protect them anywhere in the world. Upload down them. Please, someone help me to care and cripple myself. I'm only one human. I don't have all the resources, contact information, but love to do, to share to millions of people. Thank you for listening to this video. And I hope the heaven on earth is restored for all in this pandemic going as soon as possible. So please do your part to prevent it at all costs. Care for the children, all animals, living creatures, and make sure to treat them all right. Help them in the ways they need so they don't suffer. So then they have joy in their lives and souls not suffering. And then have heaven on earth as they deserve while they have one life to live.